In the previous video, we had uh, completed uh, this chemical equation, looking at the products that were formed here. Uh, we're going to do a similar uh, example here, just going through some different or some other ways of writing our equations that will tell us kind of different pieces of information about the reaction. So you'll want to write down this question here. We want to predict the products of a reaction between barium chloride, BaCl2, and sodium sulfate, Na2SO4. We want to know uh, what is the molecular equation, what is the ionic equation, and what is the net ionic equation. So we'll have three different um, equations telling us different pieces of information. We also want to answer the question of what are the spectator ions. So kind of following our steps from our previous video, uh, we want to first um, figure out, split apart our ions. So we have barium ion and chloride ion. And opposites are going to attract. So the barium is going to be attracted to the sulfate ion. Sodium ion will be attracted to the chloride ion. So we have the barium ion and sulfate, Ba. Barium is in group 2A of our periodic table towards the bottom. Uh, and then we're going to combine this with our sulfate ion, which we need to know that that has a two negative charge. And when these two combine, we have a plus two and a minus two. So we need a one to one ratio. So we end up with BaSO4. To determine the phase of what that is, if, we, if it's a precipitate or remains aqueous, we want to consult our uh, solubility rules. So we have barium sulfate. We'll look under the sulfate ion. So sulfate ion, we have all sulfates are soluble except barium sulfate, which means it is insoluble. So it's going to form a precipitate and has solid for its phase. Our other combination, we have the sodium ion combining with the chloride ion. So we have Na plus, plus Cl minus. That is also one to one ratio, so we have NaCl. Okay, NaCl, this is soluble, it's with sodium ion anything that's combined with sodium ion is going to be soluble, so that stays aqueous. So our molecular equation. This equation is going to have the full formulas for everything that's included, as well as the phases, and it has to be balanced. So our last step here of our previous example, this is a molecular equation. So we want to do the same thing here. So we have we have barium chloride. That's aqueous. Plus sodium sulfate. Aqueous. And we're forming barium sulfate. That's a solid. And sodium chloride that is aqueous. You want to balance this. If I stick a one in front of my barium sulfate, that's typically where I start. One barium, so we need a one in front of barium in our reactants. From our barium sulfate, originally we have one SO4, so one sulfate ion, so we need a one in front of the sodium sulfate. We end up with two sodium ions, 
two chloride ions, so we need a two in front of NaCl. For the ionic equation, and this is one where we're splitting everything we can uh, into ions. So anything that is aqueous, okay, barium chloride, sodium sulfate, sodium chloride, anything that's aqueous in solution actually exists as ions. So the ionic equation states and looks at all of the ions in the solution. So barium chloride splits apart into barium ion, which will be aqueous. And then we have chloride ion. There's two of them. So we have two Cl minus. Sodium splits apart, Na plus. There's two of them. So we need two Na plus. Then we have our sulfate ion. Ooh. It's going to be tight. I'm going to try and fit this all in one line. Barium sulfate is in the solid phase, so it stays together. It does not split apart into ions. Sodium chloride is aqueous, so it's going to split apart into two sodium ions and two chloride ions. And that is our ionic equation. Our last equation. This is the net ionic equation. Net ionic equation removes our spectator ions. Spectator ions are ions that are in the exact same form in the reactants and the products. Okay, they aren't actually participating in the chemistry that's happening. They don't change. Okay, chemical reactions involve changes in our chemistry. So our spectator ions are ions that don't change throughout the experiment. Okay. So in the reactants and the products, we have the exact same ions. In other words, the ions don't change. So just like spectators at a, say, sporting event, they don't actively participate in the game itself. I don't want any arguments on the 12th man can just move beyond the Super Bowl. Uh, but the ions that don't change, they're just there. They're just watching the reaction that's happening. They aren't actively participating in the reaction. So for our example, okay, we have two chloride ions that are aqueous in the reactants, two chloride ions that are aqueous in the products two sodium ions that are aqueous in the products, two sodium ions that are aqueous in the reactants. And so for the net ionic equation, we'll eliminate those because they're not actively participating in our change, our chemical change. So we end up with the barium ion plus the sulfate ion 
going to form barium sulfate. This is the chemistry that's happening. This is the change that is occurring. All right, so let's try, uh, have you try an example on your own and then I'll go briefly through uh, the solution. So we want to look at the reaction between lead to nitrate and sodium iodide. And essentially we want to ask all the same questions. So what are the products? Uh, what are their phases? What is the molecular equation, ionic equation, net ionic equation, and the spectator ions? So will a reaction between lead to nitrate and sodium iodide produce a precip precipitate? Okay. And I'm reading this equation. This is lead to nitrate. Okay, The two is the charge on lead. Nitrate has a negative one charge. There's two nitrates per one lead. So this lead has to have a plus two charge. So it's lead to nitrate. And this is sodium iodide. So we're looking at whether or not those two uh, will form a precipitate. We want to know what is the molecular equation, ionic equation, and net ionic equation, and what are the spectator ions. So give this a try on your own. Pause the video. Uh, try and follow our example above. It's the same type of question. Okay, And then I'll go through the answers here. All right, so we have lead 2 plus plus I minus is going to form PbI2. According to our solubility rules, all of our iodides are going to be soluble except with uh, lead. So except those of Pb2 plus. So this is going to be a solid. That leaves sodium ion and nitrate ion forming sodium nitrate, which is aqueous. The molecular equation remember, this is the full equation with our full formulas. So we have lead to nitrate, that's aqueous, plus sodium iodide, which is aqueous. We're forming lead to iodide. So PBI2, which is a solid, and sodium nitrate, which is aqueous. Ionic equation. We're going to look at all of our ions. Okay, anything that's aqueous gets split apart. So we have Pb2 plus 
aqueous. We have nitrate ion, and there's two of them, so the two goes out in front. That's aqueous. We have sodium ion, aqueous. Oops, I just realized I didn't balance our molecular equation. Remember, we want a balanced uh, equation. Uh, so what do we have? We have one lead nitrate, so one lead iodide. Uh, then we have two nitrates, so we need two there, two iodides, two sodiums, so we need two out in front of sodium iodide. So that means that I need a two in front of my sodium ion, and then a two in front of my iodide ion. My PBI2, my lead 2 iodide, stays together. And then I have two sodium ion and two nitrate ions. And these are both aqueous. Now to write my net ionic equation, I want to eliminate my spectator ions. I have two nitrate ions, two nitrate ions, two sodium ions, two sodium ions. So my spectator ions are sodium plus and nitrate. So my net ionic equation, I have Pb2 plus plus 2 iodide going to form PbI2 as a solid. Definitely recommend looking at the chapter 8 activity for more practice.